everybody see? <laughs> to do this, the main thing you have to remember is glossy. The paper that I'm using is kind of a thick, glossy paper. The paints that I'm using are glossy paint. You can either get the premium brand or you can get like Walmart brand. It really doesn't matter as long as you're using glossy paint. And also you're going to need glossy uh, pages uh, for to make the texture when you get to it. First thing you do, <coughs> mix up your paint. And this will work for any color combination. You cannot go wrong doing this. The main thing is that you act kind of quickly because you don't want this stuff to dry. As soon as it starts drying, it comes as hard as glue and you really can't work with it. If you're worried about it drying too fast, I don't have any, but you can buy a clear coat of spray paint and keep spraying it down and it'll keep your paint moist so you can keep working with it. But what we're going to do, let's do a big one. Take any color, I'm going to use yellow first. Kind of get a lot going on. Take another color. Spray some splotches on top of that. While that's still wet, take your paper, place it down on top, and just kind of run your fingers over it. Doesn't have to press down all the way. Then you peel back up. And that'll give you that texture. Once you're done, close this up. You don't really want to use it again. Don't want to get it on anything. Next, we're going to take our black spray paint. And we're going to add a shadow to your world. <clears throat> now keep in mind, when you make this, you want all your shadows to be going the same direction. So wherever I put a shadow on here, if I make another world, you want to go the same direction on it, away from your light. Take the black spray paint, making kind of an arc. Just kind of spray it in. Good. Get as dark as that. Tell you what. Take your pot pan. These pot pans work best. Or also, I have the uh, the chinette type. Anything that size that's kind of convex will work. And place it. You want a little bit on the black, a little bit on everything else, right there. Let me do one more. I'll show you show you again. Tell you what. This is one. Do a blue world. So you have blue right there. That's black. That's red. And a little bit of red. I'm even gonna throw in some white, add some clouds to it. Take a glossy piece of paper. Pull up, voila. Real simple. Take my block. Remember, same direction, so I want it to go down here. I brought half of it. And cover that as well. Final step. Well, next to the final step. Take your black paint, spray everything else around as black as you can. Be sure that your top hand and your covers do not move during this critical time. Now in nature, a few things are rarely just a straight black. So you would actually, it looks better if you will mix in some other colors with it. Mix in a blue or a red. So let's try adding some space dust or something to it. So it gives it kind of a different texture to it. You can always go back in, add more black if you want to. So now it's just not a stark black. Because even if you look in the night sky, it's not going to be a stark black. Final thing, if you want to add stars to what you're doing, excuse me, I'm going to grab these. Hey, man. Good work. What's up? <laughs> I'm just going to use one up. Let's see, get our white paint. Okay. The white top? Yes. 
<laughs> Very good. Be sure to replace the top so you know exactly what you're doing. The easiest way to make stars. You've got your gloved hand. Spray a little bit on your hand until it beads up and you flick it onto there. Okay. And take that off. Okay, moment of truth. See how it looks. Pull your pie plate up. Very dramatic. A little bit better. You can see how when it's wet, it gives that very dry texture to it. So if you may want to wait a little bit, let it dry before you add your black to it and go on top of it. Y'all want to see one more demonstration? You want to try? You want eager? I'll try. Okay, tell you what. When you're done, it will be a little bit wet, but you can touch it on the side. Lay them out on the, the grass over there to dry. They will be dry by the time we go back inside. So they, they do dry relatively quickly. But like I said, if you wanted to add more stuff to it, like you've seen the technique...